There we go. Feels big. Yeah. Well, this doesn't look good at all. Kobe and I are doing a little roadside fly fishing today. We just drove up to this little section of the river and looked good from the road. So we're gonna cast a couple of fly rods into this really good looking water and hopefully catch ourselves a, a bee just landed on me. Oh, catch ourselves a uh, West Slope cutthroat. Everything needs to be caught and released here. So that's not a problem for us. But anyway, let's go cast a line. Probably should show you what I'm using. I got my five weight right here with a trailing sculpin and I've got my three weight down in my holster that has a hopper dropper set up. So I'm gonna start off with the prospecting fly. This always works for me, right? When the, one of the first casts, so I'm gonna see what's up and then if uh, something starts rising, I'll, I'll uh, maybe do something different from there. All right, let's go fishing. Let's do this, fish on. What's up, Kobe? Oh, that was a big fish that just tried to eat my hopper. Oh, dang it. Oh, you must have taken the dropper. There we go. That worked. I tied on something small off the back of my hopper. It's a good fish. A really light tippet. I gotta be careful. That guy, nice. That is a beautiful West Slope. Sweet. So here's the best thing about camping and fishing. Cheers. Cheers. We can do it buzzed. <laughs> uh -huh. There we go. Feels big. Yeah. I don't want to get him on the reel for fear of just giving him a little too much slack. On the sculpin. Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, he's a good fish. Oh. It's a great thing about that reel right there. <laughs> really colored up. Just pulling and pulling. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> oh man. He's like, nope. You gotta be careful. I've got pretty light tippet. Oh yeah, shit. Appears that this guy wanted to eat a little minnow. Look at this guy. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish, Cope. Holy smokes. <clears throat> wow. It's already unhooked. Wow. That's a really good fish. Probably 17. This guy. Look at that guy. Wow. Oh. So that fish was pretty cool. We were just sitting having a beer and we saw these little minnows kind of scurrying around the edge. And so we thought, you know what? I'm going to tie on a sculpting pattern smaller to kind of imitate that. And it wasn't a few casts later and it got that big old cut. Pretty cool. That's called paying attention to what's happening around you.
All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me on another episode of Roadside Fly Fishing. Sometimes the best fishing is right off the road, and it's okay. You don't always have to be off the grid. And if you're new to fly fishing and you need a little help with your cast, I put together a really easy tutorial right here that'll help get that line out just a little bit further. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.